Alright guys, welcome back to my channel, Cadis Gaming. Welcome back to Mount Blade Banner Lord. And so, I went to Houston Folge and I got a Druna. Um, she must have escaped because she was just waiting there in the tavern for us. Um, now we're over here at Ficon, um, because Fi fake Ficon, whatever you want to call it. Um, because our other female lord now has been imprisoned. Um, and she's resting in here as a prisoner. We know that for sure. So we're here to siege it. I was just kind of waiting for uh, Sanyan and Hydruna to show up so that we'd have enough men to take it on. It really doesn't have too many. 272, not bad at all. Not bad at all. That's definitely doable. So once they get here, we'll just jump in and try to siege this and get uh, our other lord back. So we're just waiting. Sanyan's going to jump in that fight. Is is he? Is he going to chase him down? Because if that's the case, he might need help. I don't want him to take too many losses. You know what I'm saying? Because like, we're just getting ready to <laughs> converge into an army here. I don't want him to get any losses in. What is this? Onira. Really? The Kuzade have finally made a move. And it's Onira, eh? They've decided to attack Onira, which we're a decent little bit away from. What is this? That's Tamar. Dynastica. Okay, so Onira's right here. Eh, it's not too bad. We can get there. I don't know if we're going to get there in time. And we also have this dilemma here with Sanyan and uh, Tuvar. I know he can take him. I'm wondering if I should just start heading and let him catch up. I don't know. I don't I don't know how long he's gonna be chasing him either. So three on the speed okay, he's coming back. Alright, we're just gonna head then. To Tovar can follow us, I don't care. <laughs> Let's get back to Onira. That is getting sieged right now. There's Idruna, perfect timing for both. I'm going to let them just kind of try to catch up to me. Hopefully I'll stay ahead of them. Looks like Sanyan's catching me a little bit, though. What am I? 3-1. He's 3. All right, so he's just going to tail tail behind a little bit. Adrun is faster than him uh, a little bit. So this is good. We'll group right up. Hopefully we make it here before they actually uh, siege the, the castle. And uh, we'll see what we have for odds against us once we get close enough. And then if we, and then we'll just regather ourselves, guys, and we'll head back to Viking and uh, we'll, uh, siege that as well. That will be the Crusades' punishment for going to war with us. We'll take that uh, city, or we'll try to, anyways. Still lack thereof of lords. So, all right. So they got 659 gonna let my men catch up real quick these 620 ought to jump in quite possibly let's see here if they do they do if they don't oh well I think we still got them they've only got like a buck 10 on us so that's not two or two ten so they have on us uh, it's not too bad all right let's just rank everybody up. I can't remember if I have prisoners or not. I want to say I got rid of them all. Yes. So that we'd be a little faster on our feet. <clears throat> Let's just jump right in. I think they were getting ready to try to run or move in for the siege. So that's unfortunate for them. They didn't really get the chance. So it is only us against them. And that's totally fine. It looks like uh, we're severely outnumbered is what it says. But Tulag, are you the leader of your clan you are but you're not going to hear anything right now because we're getting ready to battle yes the parlay is indeed over my sir the parlay is over all right let's jump in here and see what we can do guys so his 660 there's no way he should be outmatching me that much in uh favoritism on the bar there but uh we'll let the ai believe that all it wants and we're gonna go ahead and jump in and attack I think we weren't close enough to the castle for them to jump in, maybe? I don't know how that all works, guys. 
But I do know that we have a hundred archers that are ready to just really ruin the Kuzate's day here. So, oh, and the end of the map. It's a beautiful thing. So this is a little tip for you guys as well. Don't slam me! Tip, but I guess we could throw this in as a tip video, the beginning of this video. A perfect strategy against the Kuzates is a lot of ground archers. A lot of ground archers are a lot of force archers, but stay stationary by all means. Spread them out. Mountain archers! Move! Go, we'll put those guys spread there out! as well. They can spread out. Infantry! Oh, and we'll just let our hundred archers tear into their cavalry. Also, we're at the end of the map. That's the tip, guys. Is you're at the end of the map. They have no choice but to turn around. They want to go around. They really, really want to go around. But they have no choice because it's the end of the map. So now they're just going to turn around. See? They're not even going to come at us. They're just going to turn around because they don't know what to do, really. They're, they're supposed to circle. Who's eights are horse archers. They're circling horse archer faction. And they need to circle around you to be totally effective. So. There they go, back home. Yeah, go back to your front line. Thanks. Thanks for participating. All right. We chewed on you a little bit. They they were smart enough to turn and do puckle before we really had a chance to tear into them. Now our archers are definitely going to tear into these guys before they get to us. Look at this little stream there. That's going to help out a great deal in this battle. It really is. And it's definitely a way to defeat the Kuzates. They have a good bit of ground troops. They have a monstrous little cavalry there. But it isn't going to do them much good because they can't circle around. Alright, our guys are starting. It's getting... Let's just do it. Let's jump in. They're going to probably rush back. Initial inertia here. Oh, you know, we're going to just take it deep. That would be nice. Archer 
figures out, have plenty of them who do just play against the Crusade. You want to be back up, though. That's the thing. If you're if you just fall into the map, back uh, where you would retreat to the best of far away, then you're going to have to do some other strategy. I would definitely still just utilize the archers for sure. But back against the wall against the Crusade, and you don't know what to do. We tore down their whole force cavalry. Like, a lot of a lot of people so, It's almost what's left, honestly, in their whole battalion here. As I'm just talking, my archers are just doing all of the work for us. So, the few stragglers that actually make it to our line, we're just we're jumping into a pile and tearing them up. Their enforcement are trying to get a little closer. We're definitely taking significant damage. Uh, doing so. so. We'll just keep letting the uh, feed be green. There we go. Now that we have nobody else to really attack or shoot at, we can just focus back on the uh, horse. I mean, yes, we're taking some losses. We are. If I could stand in here. But uh, we're getting, they're getting the run of it, guys. Like, trust me. That, that infantry man right there is just had a bad day all the way here. And just get all right, they have nothing but cavalry left as far as it goes. Fine, fine. I want to get the bow going. Ooh, a little swimmy. I think I'm going to contribute with some arrows myself. I'm going perfectly through that group of horses there. There, I knew that. That was good. Right. Taking some hits with my shield down, though. Definitely doing that. But as you can see, we still have plenty of arrows. Alright, so I think it's finally time. We've taken enough damage on our front line. Go ahead and just rush them now with our force. We have a retreater there. Bloody hell, he's retreating. What are you retreating for, sir? We're not outnumbered. We've got this. Just give it a moment. We'll shoot through them. It's literally all they have left, I think, in this last little offense. This is actually like a perfect Archer! spot for the archers. Forward! And we'll get them to come in like so. Stand up they can just kind of work on everybody that's coming up this way. And I'm just gonna kind of manage my men. I'll run up there and get some more swipes when I can chance. Wants to just This group's working on this group. These groups 
are getting ready to transition, I think, over that way. They're pretty yeah. done. Yeah. 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 you can see there's a lot of green in the text there still. We totally could have sat against the wall and then slowly chewed on it, guys. It's really that technique that I showed you against the wall is really for their cavalry though, just so that they don't have to come here and start running around and just tearing your men Or you, oh, I was gonna punch you. And then so what after you? Are you interested? No? And yeah, you are. Let's, let's dance. Uh, Ah, uh, we're just finishing swarming the rest now. I'll try to sneak in the back here and get a few swipes. Just contribute with my men. Try to push them a little bit. Clear this area. Just rotating a lot, that's about all they're doing. It's actually a kind of interesting technique that they crusades do, but we've got this. We've definitely got them outnumbered at this point. Hey, how you doing there? Man covered him, I couldn't even see him anymore. How's it going? Anything to slow you guys down, honestly. I know you're just trying to escape now. But you guys started this, not not I. Man, I'm terrible at the hang. Straight. Here we go. Oh, hello. Hi. Let him escape. Back to our man here. Nice. Not sure what our uh, losses are going to be, but uh, yeah, they got over half of our men. So we, we definitely took a hit on that one, but you got to remember we were out the number quite a bit and substantially by cavalry. So. If it wouldn't have been for that archery technique, I think we really would have got it handed to us. Uh, definitely, where they could have circled around us and everything. Who's eight? By, by no means are a pushover faction. They definitely dominate the whole uh, northeastern part, honestly. Like, they're, they're just getting out of control. I think they have 14 um, cities or so, something like that. <clears throat> in comparison to when I think you first start the game, you guys were supposed to have like uh, 12 to 10 uh, or so. Right, excellent. We took uh, 125, uh, not bad, in comparison to the other ones. Archeries, man. Archers. Uh, I'm telling you, it's just more... Uh, what did I go in with? Personally, myself, I went in with, uh, like, almost 30 sergeant crossbowmen. So, um, yeah, I'm going to take you, sir, pal, sir. Even though I think you're a clan leader, so it's too bad we couldn't just talk, eh? But I'm going to go ahead and just take all of you, probably. I can release them, and I'll get a bit of charm too long. We're, we're going to keep all of you right now, though, because they're sieging. Or wait, this was the army that was sieging on here, so never mind. Never mind. Um, just because we're right here and we can cash them right in, why not, right? Yeah, we're not in bad shape at all. We, we did well there. We did well. Kuzate seemed to be having a harder time with us than the Surrey did. It's, it remains to be seen, really. I mean, we've we've 
whooped their butts a couple times now, but uh, we'll... All right, so we take any losses on that? I don't think so. I think they were getting ready to go in, but I think we're good. Like, we got 620 there. We're, we're okay. 620 is okay. We could use this as the bait capital anyways, too. Like, um, maybe the big armies would be lured to try to siege that one. I've been waiting for them to want to go at it with Lavania Castle. Okay, you can pop back in anytime. Thanks. There we go. All right. Just making sure I still had you guys and it hadn't uh, fro froze up or anything. Um, I have to say my computer's running a lot better lately in the sense that, uh, boy, when I used to play indie games and everything, guys, I would do indie games on the channel. It would just freeze the thread up in the driver. And I think the latest update for that uh, uh, kind of fixed it. So that's cool. All right, so we prevented that from happening, Onira. I say we, like, hit them before they have a chance to bring another army out to hit us. But, because I would like to take one of their territories. But here we are, 21 and a half minutes in, guys, with just that one defense uh, on Onira. So we're going to leave it off right here, and when we come back, I, I don't know where we'll be at. We won't be too far ahead, I promise. We'll stay, you know, within a good reason of, of uh, time frame from this point that we're going to leave at. But, uh, yeah, we're just going to continue to fight the Crusades and try to seize some of their land and expand our faction a little bit. Also, in doing so, try to uh, recruit some of their lords. And when we have a chance after this out recruiting. Well, all we need, like I said, is just one clan. We need to snag just one clan. Try to make that happen for us by the time we come back for the next part, guys. So, hope you guys are enjoying them. Looks like you definitely are. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a subscribe. Feel free to leave comments about the game, questions, or statements, what have you. And I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Um, until next time, we'll see you later.